Okay, the last video I did was how to cut the lids off of these boxes to use them uh, to adhere your adhere your stamps to pages. And what I'm doing now, well, I stamped every set. This is a club scrap stamp set. And so for this particular set, I stamped it on some four by six cards. And this, this takes three of these cards for this one set. And I have kind of a conglomeration of a mess. And there, what I found, like this, this stamp set is Smorgas Borders. It's a, it's an old stamp by Stampin' Up. What I found with that is it has mixed in with flowers and Valentine and some retro square things and some people and and different sayings in the stamp. And if I what I figured is that by looking at this card, if I'm looking for something for Valentine's Day, which will be here in a few months, if I'm looking for something for Valentine's Day, I've got to go through these cards to find the stuff that I want. And there are quite a number of these cards. And then there's more here. And these, these are the ones that I'm working on right now. And what I need is to get them in get them in in an order where just Valentine's stuff which is what I'm working on now so I'm going through each one of the cards like this one has one stamp and that's this one that I'm going to be doing so I'm sorting through all of these cards to find the things that would be related. This is birthday and Valentine and ribbons and whatever. So I'm just going through and picking out the hearts and Valentine-like stuff. Um, there's a Valentine stamp there among the thinking of you and happy birthday. And you I love. And There's just... I've got a mess. So I'm, I'm trying to fix the mess. So first... And I don't remember where I got this off the internet. I I think it was sent to me by a friend, but I'm not sure. There's 20 boxes. And so I'm using this for small stamps. And I am totally illiterate when it comes to the Word program. But I figured out how to make a sheet for this size of stamp that would fit in the area there and then I had to figure out how to make a sheet for my background stamps so once that was done and I printed these sheets off Then, depending on the size of the of the image itself, then what I'm doing. All right, I need one of these. So this will probably be upside down to you. I'm sorry. I'm bad enough as it is stamping right side too. So all I'm doing is inking up the stamp. And putting it in a box and this is just photocopy paper this is not cardstock this is nothing fancy and so there's my image oh and then one of those big stampin up boxes is used as my my stamp wipe thing okay so now I can remove that from the block and this one is done so it can go in my 
recipe box and I and they're just going in just any order as soon as I get finished <clears throat> okay now I'm gonna work on this one and I'm gonna do this one and all my love and that and the, the images will go in these little boxes So having my having my thing done up here, I'll just peel that off and find my block in this mess. Stick it on. Now remember, <clears throat> yeah, I think yeah. Remember from my other video, I've used the two-way glue on the backs of these stamps, and it makes it so that they are. So they work well. Okay. So I'll put that in there. Oh, and I forgot to write on that other one. Okay. And uh, I can use I can use this card because I have put the name of the stamp set and who it's made by and where it lives then I can without having to go pull it back out so I'm going to write lycometer and it's in my Stampin' Up! binder And I'll put that back over there. All right, so this one is Smorgas Borders. And it's in my Stampin' Up! binder. And with a pencil, I'm going to make a check mark next to what I've done. So I've already made a category for flowers, so these three have been on there done that one and now then I'll do that one and it too let's see yeah all right I think I'm going to make a different sheet for the sentiments This, this one will just be for images, and then I'll have another sheet that will be the sentiments. And I'm really bad about getting ink all over, and then getting the little marks, but this is just for my reference. So I'm not going to get all, I'm not going to get all bent out of shape. Morgus Borders, Stampin' Up! Binder. This is a lot of work. A lot of work. This is not a project that can be handled in one sitting down evening, whatever. Okay, so this, this then is going to be put over into a pile set off to the side of things I've already done. Um, this one I need I need to do a category for like hello or whatever uh, or how are you and then uh, this one the pop on by would be like in hello <clears throat> and then you know anyway these don't have check marks on them so these will go in a pile to be worked on in another way. So, what am I doing? Alright, this is Happy Birthday. This is just the images. And these are from, these are Stampin' Up! images. And then I have some images that are not Stampin' Up! These are images that I got from, where was it? Borders Bookstore or something had a sale 
on a card making kit that came with little rubber images and that's what these are from and then this is Studio G clear stamps and so is this one so anyway these are happy birthday images and then these are the larger happy birthday images and this is a sh uh, set, th this sheet is all happy birthday quote stuff. It's just the words. And that one, that one mistakenly got in there. But it's alright. So all of this is just the different words, uh, sentiments, as is this one. And these are all happy birthday still. Alright, now these are the larger happy birthday sentiment stamps, the ones that will not fit in this little space here. that's That would take up this whole thing. And so, anyway, there. And here are some more of the birthday sentiments. And then some more. Now, this is just flowers. This is only flowers. All of the stamps that I've got that are Stampin' Up, uh, Club Scrap, Studio G, whatever. These are only flowers. So I can look through and see what what flower I might want to use. And this is a wood mounted rubber stamp that I have over in, in a drawer. So, And these are flowers as well. All right, this is Thanksgiving and fall, and this is a mix of sentiments and leaves and and images. This is the larger ones with a mix of both the sentiments and the and the images. This is Halloween. This is uh, these two are stamping up. The rest are Tim Holtz. This is all Tim Holtz, as is this. Okay, and then these pages are Christmas. So I think you get the idea. All of the stamps, all of the different stamps that I have that just leaving them together on the cards on these 4x6 cards you have no idea. I have no idea really what I have and, and how I can use these because it's just a big mess. And for me, visually, this is terrible. So I will just move on until I find something that's not quite so messy. And I will have missed something fantastic, like, Aren't you glad I, did Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Now that would be funny in something. But I would have missed that. So, because it's all jumbled in the mess. So I hope this gives you an idea of how you might choose to organize your rubber stamps and see what kind of a collection you've got and what you can do to take up the, the few valuable minutes of your day that you have left before you go to bed and sleep to start the next crazy day all over. So anyway, I hope I hope this kind of helps you, gives you an idea of what to do with your rubber stamps and how you can categorize them. Thank you. Uh, bye.